Okay, in this video, I'm gonna do a walkthrough on how you can clean up an image that you've scanned. So I've gone online and I've taken a page from a public domain resource. This is a book about Humpty Dumpty who fell off the wall. And so I'm in Inkscape now and I'm going to just make a trace of my screenshot here. So I'm gonna go path, trace bitmap, update. I can see it's over here and I'm gonna click apply. The problem now, I need to clean up this image because I've got this big black line on, on the right hand side, I've got some text at the bottom. So in this video, I'm gonna show you five ways that you can clean up an image in Inkscape and have it looking crystal clear if you'd like to sell it. Let's go. Okay, if you're new to Inkscape, have no fear, you're exactly where you need to be. Inkscape, if you've never heard of it before, is a vector tool and you can use it to create vectors and vectors are infinitely scalable images like this one. And so I'm gonna clean up this image. Now I've got menus along the left-hand side, menus along the top, of course. I've got a color path down at the bottom, which is kinda neat. I can actually change the color of my vector. I'm just gonna leave it for, as black for now. And then over on the right, I've got some uh, menu items as well. Okay, so the first technique to clean up an image in Inkscape is simply to select the picture and then go up here to the top left and you'll see the second line item down. The second menu item says Edit Paths by Node. I'm gonna click on that. So the first technique is to simply click on any individual node and then click the Delete key. So I'm gonna pick this node right here. You'll notice my picture is pretty wide and it's because it's picking up this one node right over here. So I'm actually gonna zoom in and you'll see it's actually three nodes and I'm gonna select one node, click on it. There we go, and I'm gonna click the delete key. And now you can see, as I scroll in even more, I've got two nodes. So now I'm gonna click on the other node, click delete, and the whole thing now disappears. You'll see now as well, my actual size of my picture has decreased. I'm just gonna click the Control Z to undo that, and you'll see, you'll see that when the node's over here, the outside of the picture has a dotted line. When I delete that node, you'll see it actually moves in, the actual image now is smaller. The second method to clean up images in Inkscape is to delete a group of nodes. It's almost the exact same process. I'm gonna click on my photograph here or my picture, and on the top left, I'm gonna click the same item, Edit Paths by Node, it's the second item down. Now, I'm gonna delete this black line over on the right-hand side, and what I'm gonna do is simply drag my mouse down and highlight all the nodes in that black line and click the delete key. You'll see now the size of the image has been reset and the black line now is completely gone. The third way to clean up an image is to move the nodes around. And so what I'm gonna do for this example is down on the bottom left, you'll see there's some grass. I'm gonna zoom in. So we're just worried about this bottom left piece. And what I wanna do is simplify this. When I select the edit paths by node option, you'll see there's just a boatload of nodes in there. And if I'm using any sort of cutting machine, it can be a real chore. There's just way too many nodes in there. So I'm just gonna highlight a whole bunch of nodes and I'm gonna click the delete key. That was our second option. So now you'll see we've got this big you know, swath of black here. And if we don't want that, if I wanna get rid of that black, well, how do I do it? Well, that's the third method. What I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna zoom in and I'm gonna highlight this node right there and you'll see now there's these long lines. And what I can do with these lines is I can actually move them around. So I'm gonna click on the node itself and then I'm gonna click on the actual pivot points inside the node. And we'll see where's the node on this long piece? Hmm, well it's actually connected here. So you'll see it moves it around because that's the last node and it's the mathematical formula that's pushing it down here. So I can actually swing these around so I can bring this right up. I can delete out some more nodes if I want. And I can move this whole thing now into an area that I'm happy with. So I'm going to clean this up by simply deleting nodes and then moving this back. Now it may take some work because these are really stretched out, but that's good. I want a, a tough example. So I'm actually clicking here because it's tied to this node there. So when I click on this and I move this in, look at that shadow now, kind of look back to normal. So now I can move this in and I can clean this up. So the combination of selecting one node, multiple nodes, and then moving the nodal points, that will change 
the way this looks. Okay, the fourth technique is an automated technique and you're letting the system clean up the image for you. So you'll notice down at the very bottom it says path 10,025 nodes. That means inside of this image there's 10,000 individual nodes. Well that's way too many nodes. So what we can do is go up to path simplify and that will change the number of nodes in the picture. Now instead of 10,000 we've got 854 nodes. Now it will radically change sometimes the way the picture looks. You know, if you've got like a simple picture, this simplify option can work great. If you have a really complicated picture like what I've got here, the simplify option may not look that good. But it's a tool in your tool belt you can use if you need to. All right, the last tip is when you want to add something to the photo. So once in a while, you may be cropping something out of the photograph. And as a result, you may need to add it back in. You might cut off a piece of their shoe, a bit of the guy's dress, maybe a brick, the brick wall. I'm actually going to pick apart here this brick wall. So I'm going to click on the image, okay? And I've got Edit Pass by Node turned on. And I can see that we've got this brick sitting here. Well, what if I accidentally deleted this and then I totally forgot about it. So now I'm working away and like a half an hour later I'm like, oh no, what did I do? I've now got my brick wall but it's missing a piece. So it's like, okay, no worries. You don't have to start all over again. What you can do now is you have a couple options in here where you can draw a freehand. So on the left hand side you've got a little pencil and it says draw a freehand line. When I click it, you've got different nodes here at the top. Create a regular Bezier path, create a spiral path. I like the spiral path personally. And then you can basically just draw what you wanted to draw. Now you'll notice it's not the exact same width as these uh, lines up above it, but that's okay. You could actually change that if you want. So I'm just going to undo Control Z, Control Z. That'll get me back to the start here. And what you can do instead, calligraphy brush, and what you can do now is you can change these presets up at the top. So I'm actually going to change the preset to brush and then I'm going to just draw my line. Okay, so I've got four different options here. When using the calligraphic brush stroke, I've got really tiny and then progressively larger. And what I've done is I've just simply changed the width. If you're getting really large strokes, it may be because your stroke is on. And when you have your stroke on, it's like an outline. I just turned off my stroke and that's made my brush strokes much, much smaller. So if you want them really tiny, you change the width down near zero and you could draw a line. And if you'd like it a bit thicker, change your width up to a larger item and you'll see now the calligraphic pen will get much larger. Now there's lots of different effects you can use in here as well. But if you just wanted to keep it simple, just use the pencil and you could draw just a regular freehand line with the pencil tool as well. So you could add to that brick. Now I've got a whole bunch of lines all drawn and I'm going to keep them there just to show you this next effect. When I click on them, I'm clicking on individual lines and you'll notice they're highlighting in my drawing. So I can select all of them by doing Control A and then I can go up to Path union and that will make all of the paths inside the one drawing the same. So when I select that my image now they're all flattened together and that's now part of my image. It's a pretty crappy looking brick wall but you get the idea. So I hope you found that helpful. There's five ways that you can monkey around with images and clean them up. I hope you guys found that helpful and here's another video you can use to supercharge your Inkscape skills. Thanks a lot for watching. Take care.